Hello everyone, this is Douglas with a short screencast on using Apple's iTunes program to convert your audio files between various formats. Now with podcasting, we most usually want to convert to MP3, but sometimes if we need to run our audio through a different program, well, it can help to convert it to WAV or AIFF or some other format as well. Now, iTunes obviously is a music library and player. It's really not designed for converting files, even though it does it very easily. Um, so the options to uh, what file type you want to change it to are a little hidden. Now, normally if you have a file in your music library, say like this older podcast of mine, if you go to the advanced menu, you'll see that it normally will say convert selection to AAC. AAC is Apple's uh, special MP3 format. It's what you can use to do enhanced podcasts, which can include uh, links and pictures at various points in the file. Now, unfortunately, AAC files can only play either on iTunes or on the uh, iPod itself. So I think that's one of the reasons that um, enhanced podcasts haven't become very successful. But anyway, how do you change that option? Well, in the iTunes menu, under Preferences, and for you Windows users, it's under Edit Preferences, by the way. Across the top, you see a number of icons. We click on the Advanced icon, and then in there you see three tabs, General, Importing, and Burning. Well, it's the Importing tab that controls what that menu says up there. So say, for example, I wanted to convert this to an AIFF file. I would select where it says AAC Encoder, and I'd select AIFF. I'd click OK. And now if I go back to that advanced menu, it says convert selection to AIFF. AIFF is an uncompressed interchange format. It's standard across all platforms and most any computer can play it or manipulate it. Now in our case, though, we want to do MP3. So we're going to say preferences, go back to our advanced, importing, say MP3 encoder. Now with MP3 encoders, you actually get another setting underneath that. You have good quality, high quality, higher quality, and then custom. Now, for I produce all my podcasts at 128 kilobits per second. If you're doing a long interview, although the quality is really nice, you might find that that rate is a little too high. If so, you can drop it down to voice quality by selecting custom and selecting 64 kilobits per second here, and then say OK. Now, in our case, so I'm going to leave this. I'm going to change this back to good quality, which is where I normally use it. I'm going to say OK. And now you'll notice that convert selection to MP3 is now selected. So actually, let's do that. Let's select this AIFF file, and we can tell it by the kind column here in iTunes. Let's convert that to MP3. We're going to select advanced, convert selection to MP3, and away it goes. And it gives you up above here, gives you the status of how long it's going to take to convert that file. Now, obviously, the longer the file, the longer it's going to take to convert it. Now when it's done, it's going to add it to the top of our music library. I'm sorted by date added so that all new things go to the very top of this list here. And that's an interesting trick I use just to make sure that when I put something in iTunes, I know where it's going to be when I go looking for it. If we scroll up, we'll see there is our MP3 file, all ready to go. And we can play it right from there. So that's an example of how to do your conversions. Now, if you wish, or if you're using someone else's computer, it's nice to reset the options back where they were. So let's go to Preferences one more time, Advanced, Importing, and set that back to AAC. Okay. Well, I hope this has been useful to you. We'll have a few more iTunes tips and hints coming up in the next few days.